Hey guys, so in this video, we are going to discuss how to find the derivative of a function using the limit definition of derivative. Okay, let's get started. So we have the first one, find the derivative of f of x equals 2x squared minus 3x plus 1. So as you can see, we have a quadratic function. So how we are going to find its derivative? So as you can see in the previous slide, we have the definition of derivative as f prime of x is equal to the limit of f of x plus delta x minus f of x over delta x as delta x approaches 0. Okay, so to find the derivative of this, we are going to use this formula. So we have f prime of x equals the limit. So copy na natin yung delta x approaches 0. So evaluate f of x plus delta x. This means that instead of x, we are going to use x plus delta x. So x plus delta x will be replaced uh, the x here in the given function. So thus we have 2 times x squared. So we have x will become x plus delta x squared minus 3 times the value of x becomes x plus delta x also x plus delta x then plus 1. So, this is the value of f of x delta x. So, minus the value of the original function which is 2x squared minus 3x plus 1 all over delta x. So, let's simplify. We have f prime of x equals limit of delta x approaches 0. So we have 2. Then expand x plus delta x. That will be x times x. x squared plus twice the product of this 2 times x. 2x times delta x. So we have 2x delta x. Take note na hindi mo dapat ipag multiply yung x and delta x because x uh, delta x is a single term. So hindi siya pwede maging delta x squared. They are different. So, we have x delta x times 2. So, that's why naging ganito siya. 2x delta x plus square of delta x. That is delta x squared. Okay. Then, distribute negative 3 times x. Negative 3x. Negative 3 times delta x is negative 3 delta x plus 1. Then negative times 2x squared is negative 2x squared. Negative times negative 3x is positive 3x. And then negative times 1 is negative 1. Okay. All over delta x. So we have f prime of x is equal to the limit. So as delta x approaches 0. So, distribute 2. So, 2 times x squared, that is 2x squared. 2 times 2x delta x, that is 4x delta x. Then, 2 times delta x squared, that is 2 delta x squared. Then, minus 3x, minus 3 delta x, just copy, plus 1, minus 2x squared, plus 3x minus 1 all over delta x. So, combine similar terms. So, we have f prime of x equals so, delete so, f prime of x equals Limit delta x approaches 0. So, we can cancel 2x squared 
because 2 x squared minus 2 x squared is 0. We have negative 3 x plus 3 x 0 and 1 minus 1 0. Okay, so we have 4 x delta x plus 2 delta x squared, so 2 delta x squared. Then minus 3 delta x. All over delta x. And then factor the numerator. So we have f prime of x equals the limit of delta x approaches 0. So the numerator has common factor of delta x. So lalabas lang yon. We have delta x times 4x delta x divided by delta x is 4x. Then 2 delta x squared divided by delta x is 2 delta x. Then negative 3 delta x divided by delta x is 3. All over delta x. So we can now cancel delta x. Cancel this. We have f prime of x equals the limit of delta x approaches 0 or oh, 4x plus 2x 2 delta x minus 3 so in here we can now uh, substitute delta x for here 0 papalitan natin yung delta x ng 0 so we have f prime of x equals 4x plus 2 delta x becomes 0, 2 times 0 minus 3. And the final answer will be f prime of x equals, so f prime of x equals 4x minus 3. So this is the derivative of the given function. Okay, we have the second example, f of x equals square root of 2x plus 1. So again, we are going to use f prime of x equals the limit of f of x plus delta x minus f of x over delta x as delta x approaches 0. So we have f prime of x is equal to the limit of delta x as delta x approaches 0 so we have f of x plus delta x so we have to substitute x plus delta x in x here so we have square root of 2 times x plus delta x plus 1 then minus the original function square root of 2x plus 1 all over delta x. So we have f prime of x equal to the limit of as delta x approaches 0 of the given. So distribute 2 times x to x. Then 2 times delta x is 2 delta x plus 1 minus square root of 2x plus 1 all over delta x so after that what we are going to do to simplify this is multiply the numerator and the denominator by the conjugate of the numerator okay the conjugate is the same uh, radical expression but the difference is the operation if this is minus we have to multiply it by addition so we have times square root of 2x plus 2 delta x plus 1 plus square root of 2x plus 1 same with the denominator so we have 2x plus 2 delta x plus 1 plus square root of 2x plus 1 then so let's simplify we have f prime of x 
equals the limit as delta x approaches 0. So, these are sum and difference of two binomials. So, when we multiply, so multiply the first term and the first term minus the product of the last term and the last term here. So, we have square root of 2x plus 2 delta x plus 1 times square root of 2x plus 2 delta x plus 1 will be 2x plus 2 delta x plus 1. Just cancel the radical. So, that will be 2x plus 2 delta x plus 1. Then, negative times positive is negative. Then, square root of 2x plus 1 times square root of 2x plus 1 will be 2x plus 1. The radical will be cancelled. So, we have 2x plus 1. Then, we just copy the denominator in factored form. So, delta x times square root of 2x plus 2 delta x plus 1 plus square root of 2x plus 1. Okay. And then let's uh, simplify the numerator. So we have f prime of x is equal to the limit as delta x approaches 0. So we have uh, 2x plus 2 delta x plus 1. 2x plus 2 delta x plus 1. Distribute the negative. Negative times 2x is negative 2x. And negative times 1 is negative 1 all over delta x times 2x plus 2 delta x plus 1. 2 delta x plus 1 plus square root of 2x plus 1. Okay, so we have f prime of x. So, let's delete first. So, we have f prime of x is equal to the limit of delta x approaches 0. So, we have 2x minus 2x is 0. Then, 1 minus 1 is also 0. Then what's left is 2 delta x all over the given denominator. Delta x times square root of 2x plus 2 delta x plus 1. Okay. Plus square root of 2x plus 1. So. So you can see we have a common factor in the numerator and denominator which is delta x so we can cancel this what is left is 2 in the numerator so we have limit as delta x approaches 0 so we have 2 all over square root of 2x plus 2 delta x plus 1 plus square root of 2x plus 1. So in here, we can now substitute the value of delta x which is approaches 0 or which is approaching 0. Okay, so we have f prime of x equals 2 all over 2x plus 2 times the value of delta x 0 plus 1 plus square root of 2x plus 1. Okay. Then let's simplify. So we have f prime of x equals 2 all over square root of 2x so, 2 times 0 is 0. So, 0 plus 1. This is 1. So, 2x plus 1 plus square root of 2x plus 1. Okay. So, we have 
f prime of x is equal to 2. So as you can see, square root of 2x plus 1, square root of 2x plus 1 is similar term. So we just add the coefficient and copy square root of 2x plus 1. So the coefficient of this is 1 plus 1, so 2. So 2 is square root of 2x plus 1. And so we can simplify this further. We have f prime of x. f prime of x equals cancel this. So what's left in the numerator is 1 over square root of 2x plus 1. So this is the derivative of the given function. f prime of x equals 1 over square root of 2x plus 1.